They are the guys who are fashionable in the world of cars, and I'm going to be chatting to them shortly. It's Gavin and Chiro from Overdrive TV. The Express Traffic is brought to you by Midas. With a range of quality products guaranteed nationally, you'll always find there's so much more to Midas. So we woke the pair of them up super early this morning to join us and chat about the latest car to hit the runway from the States. Yeah, it's the uh, brand new Jeep Ch Grand Cherokee SRT8, so I nearly didn't give it its full name there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, for, for me, America, I mean, it's an American car, obviously, and America is all about the show. Even the presidential elections is like some sort of carnival sideshow. It's, it really is. That, that's, that's, they're all about the, the engagement with, with the consumer, and this is no different, yeah. So the country that gave us the world's largest hammer, <laughs> the world's largest concrete gnome, and the world's largest cowboy hat and boots now also makes what we think is the world's largest V8 that you can buy in a normal car. I don't think there's another V8 this no. size. No. And as the Americans say, there's there's no replacement for displacement, and Jeep have, <laughs> and Jeep have thrown 6,400 cubic centimeters at this Grand Cherokee, but they've also handed it over to their SRT stands for their Street and Racing Technology Division. And now, considering most streets in America are completely straight and most of their tracks are oval, I'm not really sure how much dynamic driving they added to this car, but yeah. <laughs> so, the, the idea of a racing version of a 4x4 is a sort of a new one to the world, and it's, I, don't, I don't know how much sense this makes. I mean, you may have noticed that racing cars are very, very close to the ground. And, and compact. Yeah, yeah sure. And this, just, and this just isn't, but it's got so many features to help you stay on the road and not in the hedge. I basically. mean, to, to have a four-wheel drive, an off-road car with with bright red brake calipers and it's got these insane scoops on the bonnet you can't really see from this photo too much but uh, and it also has a track mode so you can go from off-road mode and then you can go into sport and then you go into track mode and uh, I just I, I can't imagine taking this thing around a track but someone has taken it around the Nürburgring which is probably the most you know, most daunting racing track in the world and uh, they're a lot braver than I am because I took it on a few twisty roads and it's it's a little bit it's a little bit daunting driving this car quickly. So this car's party trick is is its acceleration, yeah, right? Absolutely. It's four wheel drive. You've got 344 kilowatts, which is ridiculous. That's like sort of Ferrari and Porsche power. All four wheels put it down into the tarmac as you put your foot to the floor, and it just has this sort of roller coaster feeling. It's like owning your own roller coaster. Yeah. But I think a roller coaster would be cheaper to run actually on a day to day yeah, they, basis. They, they, they use less fuel roller coasters. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never experienced a car like, like Chiro said with the acceleration. I've never Feel a, felt a car pounce like this. You kind of you, you accelerate, and the car seems to bite into the road and then leap forward. It's it's, it's like no, the, it doesn't really drive. It sort of jumps. It jumps. <laughs> it's, it's like a panther. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like Tigger from Winnie the Winnie the Pooh almost. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, what what can you buy in this segment that even compares to this? Well, if you're going to go for a German equivalent, you're looking yeah. at maybe the X5M. You're adding another 300,000 rand straight off the bat just to get this level of performance. So if you do want this kind of performance and uh, 1.2 million rand is not really uh, sort of in your budget, then the Jeep Grand Cherokee is not a yeah, bad option. Gee, that's yeah. a bit of a pricey one. <laughs> yeah, but, but for the money, you can't get anything that, that performs like this, really. Yeah. It's, it's, it's phenomenal, yeah. And now for the car fanatics like you out there, what yes. can they look forward to on SABC3? Okay, cool. So starting on Sunday afternoon, 5 o'clock is the new-ish season of Top Gear season 16, which means that local audiences will be almost up to date with the international version. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, coming up uh, this uh, in this uh, season, we've got a couple of highlights for you here. There we yeah, go. Let's see what <laughs> crazy things the guys get up to. Yeah, yeah. And, and now people might not know this, but this is the most watched, the watched factual program in the world. <laughs> in the world. As, as, yeah. yes, as, so I mean, this, you know, the show's got the budget of a sort of a medium-sized medium African country, which does help <laughs> a lot. But even so, the three presenters, they still manage to stay really down to earth and just really true to their what they do. And they make cars entertaining for audiences around the world. It's, it's just a brilliant television. Yeah, and, and, and if you've watched our segment before, you know we've interviewed these guys. And what you see on television is exactly what you get there. They just come out completely they're themselves on and off screen and they're, they're yeah, a fantastic, I think, fantastic show. I think show. that's actually something I really like about them is you yeah. meet them in person and they're wearing the same t-shirts that they wear on TV. Yeah. That's <laughs> <been watched. laughs> much, much like us. <laughs> well guys, thanks so much for joining us on Expresso. We're going to take a quick break and we'll catch up with you after this.